G'day and welcome. We're the Imperunners. I'm Al Garrod and I'm joined with by Execute. And we've been away due to a perfect storm of circumstance. Dyson has been gallivanting around the, uh, America on holiday. Hayes is buried with real life work. Execute's been sick as a dog. And um, yes, yeah, so it's delayed us in getting shows out. And we hate recording alone. We actually think we're better when we bounce ideas off each other. Um, but today we're going to be talking about um, what we believe the next concept ship uh, released by CIG is. Um, it's been hinted at in this uh, law story on the run. And just, you know, typical of, of CIG's um, process at the moment, as a concept ship comes to its concept sale, <laughs> as a concept ship sale <laughs> comes to an end, uh, they release a law story hinting at the next ship. And uh, this is the latest law story as the Apollo uh, sale comes to an end. Uh, we know that this ship is a Crusader ship. The first thing you notice if you have a look at the picture is on the right hand side um, you can see the letter CRU but also in the story itself the computer voice of the ship it's referred to as the Pleasant Crusader computer voice um, and also we have the name of the ship the Mercury Star Runner which again fits with the um, Crusader nomenclature for naming of their ships. So that's the first takeaway from a story we've got. And what we're going to do is we're going to go through the rest of the story and pick up those tidbits so we can get they tell us about this ship. So what was the next bit we found, uh, Di um, Execute? <laughs> yeah, so basically is what type of ship it is. And um, in the story, they mentioned running up a ramp and um, checking out some data storage modules. Um, and the other part that's not in the story is a couple of weeks ago, I believe on the 6th of August, on a Calling Over All Debs episode called Aspects of Flight and Landing, uh, Disco Lando kind of let slip that the next ship would be a smuggling ship. So if you cross-pollinate that, it sounds it's like it's a little bit like a vulture, or sorry, Vulcan type of ship, where it's a hybrid between smuggling and hacking. Um, based on that and the other thing is obviously what i said before is when they walk up a ramp so there's a ramp into this ship for loading and unloading of cargo um plus the the data stuff which yeah, i found we were interesting. About it earlier when we were talking about it earlier you were saying the ramp just doesn't make sense to me it, it you know i didn't was... i didn't understand why it needed it when yeah, the herald it... didn't have one i was like why does it need a ramp it has to have some form of cargo what is this form of cargo and then yeah the, the episode about um, uh, Disco Lando came back to me and I went, ah, oh, click. Yeah. And that just makes it all fit in place. Why does this ship have a ramp? You need it for your cargo when you're smuggling. But that also raises the other question. Does this ship have hidden cargo areas, little hidden nooks and crackies for smuggling, or does it have a shielded cargo area? So that's something we don't know, but it'd be nice to see if it does uh, based on that. Um, the other thing we noted as we were reading uh, the story is that this ship is also atmosphere capable. The story is set in uh, Terra Prime. And uh, sure enough, this ship flies through the atmosphere really smoothly. And um, it's got a nice wing sweat, wing, wing pattern. You can see part of it on the, on the picture up the top there. Uh, kind of resembles a Hercules uh, star lifter. Um, whether that's true or not isn't yet to be seen. Whether we're looking at the front or the back of the ship, who knows? Mm. But it definitely, seems to be there. If you, what you can see of the picture there um, from the title of the story, it definitely looks like the ship from above, and it definitely looks like a miniature version of the Hercules Star Lifter, doesn't it? Well, to me, it does anyway. So that's the other thing there. Um, um, also, weapons and hard points. So we know from the story it's got a turret in it. We also know that it's got um, distortion cannons. And we also know it's got missiles, um, which are hmm. all very interesting. And, yeah. And in the story, uh, they fire two missiles off at once. So that raised the question, does it have two missile racks? Or is it a one single missile rack which can fire off two missiles simultaneously? So, again, information that we don't quite know, but it... It's an interesting thing to consider. Um, within the story, the other thing we saw was that uh, they rigged up a sim pod to actually enable the guns to be able to fire um, remotely. And so, is this how this begs the question? Is this how CIG plan to enable us to do that with our with our man turrets? Does it mean a sim pod where we can do that? Does it mean this ship has sim pods? 
that is another thing. Um, my gut feeling is no, it doesn't have sim pods because the story she actually got a broken sim pod and put it in the ship and to solve the problem she had with her crewmate not wanting to man a turret because it was beneath him. But you know, they're, they're little sitting tidbits we picked up. The other one we picked up was the crew size. Um, it seems that the minimum crew size is going to be two. Um, I tend to have a feeling it's going to follow the pattern of the Apollo, where even though it may have more things for two people to do, um, it'll only have two beds and have crew space for two, even though we think it could probably be three or four crew. Much like we felt the Apollo um, should have been more crew, but it only had two crew slots. Uh, no, anything to add on no, that? No, I, I totally agree with that. I'm, I'm a bit disturbed by this trend of um, not really going up in cruise sizes, and it's like, um, you know, you, you want to play with your friends, you want to have this natural progression, so, you know, me and Tom are playing and doing this and this ship, and we move up to a ship, and hang on, we can't join our other friends because it's only a two-seater as well. So does that mean certain professions are going to be locked into a certain number of players? I find that yeah. a bit strange. And, um, I, and I kind of hated that in games as well, where you'd, you'd have a group of four mates, but oh, this is only a three-man mission, you can't you can't go. Whereas even if your ship is really catering for two people, the fact it could have four roles, you know, a pilot, a gunner, two hackers, it'd be nice to see those four beds so that before you know murmur three mates can go out and if we do get into trouble we've all got a life pod rather than having to draw straws to see who dies and who doesn't yeah so let's um, hope this is same. not a continuing trend because I'm, mm. I'm not a happy fan of it and and i think it's like like the apollo literally crushed the cutlass raid like it, mm. it it killed it dude it like cut it off at the he did um it was it was not a good look um, and I think there were a lot of very annoyed Cutlass Red Ovens. Um, mm. you know, and and the concern is that this ship could be doing the same thing to the Herald. Um, yeah, I, I think I think probably the one saving grace is the fact that the Herald is dedicated to info running, and you could literally mm. run that solo if you really needed to. This ship, with the smuggling thing, I start to question: Is it doing the same job as the Herald? But it also has the ability to be a smuggling vessel, or does it literally do everything the Herald does, and it's a smuggling vessel, just totally killing any need to have the Herald, and that's that's the balance that they're going to have to to, to achieve there. Yeah, yeah, uh, and I, I can see what you're saying there, and it's it's it is a concern um, in terms of the crew sizes and, and, and the other stuff. The last thing that we glean from the story, which is a real gem, is that this ship has. Uh, a, regist a registration spoof, a reg spoof. And um, we know from the story it is power hungry. Because in the story, uh, Maz uh, powers down the shields or diverts power from the shields and the thrusters as he powers up this reg spoof, sp reg spoof which enables them to kind of disguise their ship, uh, the look of a ship, but not the model of a ship. Because uh, the pilot says, Oh, I hope, you know, basically, I hope. Not too many, you know, I hope we're not the only people flying a Mercury today. Uh, so we know it doesn't change the shape of the ship, but it certainly changes the look of the ship. Um, which may made me think of the Electro skin from back in the day. But there, um, that's pretty much the information we gleaned uh, so far. Is there anything else you want to add to that, Execute? No, I think that's been really thorough. Um, you know, we're obviously going to learn more in the next 48 hours. Um, but I think we've got a really good head start on most people, and I think it's a unique ship. I think, you know, my first speculation of this was, oh, it's just another info runners type ship. But adding and connecting the dots, it, it it's made the ship a little bit more exciting. In my eyes, I don't know about you, but I am um, kind of tempted. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm interested. I'm interested now, having having thought about those extra things we were we were talking about later. I'm, I'm thinking this could be a nice ship to to certainly explore. And we'll explore that if we're right that this is a new ship. We'll definitely explore it after it's been released. We expect it in either ATV or ATV in the next couple of days. Uh, and if so, we'll do a buyer's guide once we've had a chance to have a better look. Mm -hmm. um, 
two, two, two more things real quickly. If you look at the image itself, um, it appears like there's either a docking collar or some kind of scanning suite or something on top of that ship. So mm. whether that comes out, whether that's for lo lo loading of cargo, uh, we don't know, but there's definitely something very unique about the top of that ship. The other thing is if you look in the image, excuse me, there are cargo crates in the image, which kind of gives you a rough idea of the size. So mm, that's right. I would say it's roughly cutlass Apollo sized. Yeah, and and uh, I agree with that. I, I actually do think it's a. I actually think it's Apollo sized, based on the crates, based on the fact that it's two crew, based on also the fact that it has one turret or seems to have at least one turret and missiles, just like the Apollo had. Uh, and again, yeah, it, it just seems to me that all the all the pieces seem to say this is roughly Apollo sized. Might be a little bigger, might be a little smaller, but it just seems to be in that in that niche. Um, anyway, on that note, if you like what we've said, please like us. If you don't like it, feel free to just like. We'd love you though to leave a comment and tell us what you think. We do read them all. We do try and respond to as many as we can. Um, also, we've got a Discord. Feel free to join us on Discord. Uh, the link is will be below. And um, again. Ask us any questions. Dyson, Execute, Hazer, myself do do read them. We do try and respond and, and interact with you guys. Uh, let us know what you think. Are we on the ball or are we off with the fairies? And on that note, <laughs> I'm Al Garrod. And I'm Execute. And we'll catch you next time. Take care. <laughs>